need that? Stay away from bullies. Say it one more time. Stay away from The S stands for what? Stay away from bullies. Now here's what I mean by that. Some people say to me, they say, Officer Lane, I got 700 friends on my Instagram. 700 followers on my Instagram. Yeah, and you know what I tell them? You ain't got 700 friends. You just got 700 people you clicked on. Right? I mean, what, a friend is somebody you tell your secrets to, right? A friend is somebody that you're close to, you share stuff with. You don't have 700 people you tell all that. At least you should. <laughs> right? You shouldn't have 700 people. So here's the thing about the S. And what's the S stand for again? Stay away from bullies. Very good. So here's the first thing you need to do. One of the best friends you have with cyber, with, with, your, with your cell phone, with your Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, any of that. The best friend you have is you have the ability to block them. Everybody say block. Block. Everybody say unfriend. Unfriend. You know you can do that, don't you? Yeah. You know you can block them, don't you? Yeah. So that's how you stay away from them. If they're talking about you, do you want to be reading that stuff? No. No. So you want to block them. You need to learn to block some folks in your life. Because not everybody wants you to be the best that you can be. Okay? Some people want to just hurt you. Some people want to make fun of you. Some people want to tear you down. Are those your friends? No, friends don't do that, do they? So you have to learn to do what the S stands for. And what's the S stand for? Stay away from bullies. Very good. Now the next letter in star is what? T. T. And here's what the T stands for. You ready? The T stands for you got to find somebody to talk to. Because here's the thing. How does it make you? Let me ask you a question. How does it make you feel if somebody's ever been bullying you? Somebody help tell me. Yes, sir. Yeah, you got in a fight because of it. Well, how does it make you feel when you when somebody bullies you? How bad about you? Say it. Say it. Yeah. What else? What else? What else? What else? On a dress. That doesn't make him any different than anybody else. Just because he felt like he want to see how it is to wear a skirt or wear a dress, you know. He just woke up feeling different. And so that's what Will Smith's gonna do. That is, that's not true. He's not identifying with a certain that's the way of life. He's bringing awareness that it's some people that may feel like this is what they want to do, this is what they want to wear. But in, in turn, regardless of what the person is, they're all human at the end of the day. And they all deserve the same respect and love as anyone else. And so another thing that was. Yes. Yes, it's, yes. Yes. So he's bringing. He, that's why he dressed where he, he wants yes. to bring awareness to the generation that's coming up. Because a lot of things have changed, and we have to be aware. We can't look at people as if they're not worthy of being great. You know. And so that's the other thing that's very important to understand is that regardless of what lifestyle that we live or certain things that we believe, we are all born with greatness. Does everybody know what that means? nothing but boys. I had, I raised 12 kids, 11 boys and her. And they were, most of them, you know, I had five boys of my own and I adopted the others. And so Nikki was the only girl in the house. I have three sons that, one of them, he was bullied somewhat, but now my son, the one that was bullied, now he plays for the New England Patriots. And he, you know, he was different. You know, my, other, my older son, he was bullied. He plays for OKC. And then my youngest son, which he was just, uh, I call him N-E-R-D. You know what N-E-R-D is? What is the N-E-R-D? Yes, he was a nerd. Bye. 
have three, if you have three people in your family that is getting abused or that is going through a domestic violence relationship, I want you to give them their, that lifesaver and tell them how much you love them and tell them what you're going through. You don't have to continue, but I'm here. And this is what I learned at the anti bullying rally. And I want to tell you the information that I have learned so that we can
older, so you may uh, recognize two of the people on the board. Uh, one of them is Jaden Smith, uh, Will Smith's son. No, not familiar. Okay. Any more 
like this and go from the beginning to the end and it's been a good day and if you block people find somebody to talk to to avoid those bad choices then good things happen so last thing what's the last letter in the car here's what it stands for respect yourself and others everybody say that the r stands for what all right very good everybody do this with me gotta do it gotta do it gotta do it everybody say hi Damn. Somebody, I love myself. I am very weird. Now hold your hold right here, stand back. Now hug your weird self. Hug your weird self. Now here's the thing. A lot of times when I say that word weird and I see it in your face, some of y'all laughing like, wait a minute, that's not a good word. Here's the reality about weird. Weird, the only thing weird means is it's different. Is you're different. 
And as many kids as we got sitting here today, that's how many different kids we have sitting here. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. And different is okay. And we need to learn that it's okay to be different. It's okay. If you've got long hair, short hair, curly hair, no hair, if you're tall, short, skinny, fat, big feet, little feet, Charlie Brown head, peanut head, it doesn't make any difference. If we understand that we're all good. Everybody, let me ask you a question. Who likes to be respected? Everybody. Somebody tell me the definition you learned as a little kid about what the word respect means. Okay, but treat what? Because you want to treat people the way you want to be treated. So let's review real fast and then my girl Monet's coming. Alright? S stands for say it loud. Uh, uh, I ain't going to be giving away no prizes. That's okay. I gave away a Nintendo last time. What's the S stand for? The T stands for? The A stands for? Very good. The R stands for? Very good. I'm going to make a deal with you. See my pink share scarf? Y'all remember my first name? Larry, Larry. All right, here's the deal. If you see me out at McDonald's, Burger King, Speedway, right? You see me in my sheriff's car, and you come up to me, and you got to call me by my name. That's the first thing. And number two, you have to tell me something good that's going on in your life. Don't have to be anything huge. Just tell me something good. Tell me, hey, I'm so I got a C in my math class. That's good. I'm good with that. And here's the deal I make with you. I buy an ice cream with Coke, a hamburger, candy bar, something. All right, now if you come up to me and go, where my burger? What do you think you get? Nothing. All right, you guys are great. Monet, you ready? Come on. So, I need you guys to stand up. Let's get our energy back in. You know, you sat down. So let's... <laughs>